Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. This video is specifically for those who are planning for an uh, international education or if you are planning for your higher studies abroad, then this video is definitely for you. So the topic for today is like, how do you get a proper uh, deal on your uh, foreign educational loan? Not many of us is with uh, born with a silver spoon where we could afford to uh, pay for our uh, international education. So in this video, we'll definitely see an easier way or the best practices that you must follow to get an easy uh, international education loan. So without further delay, let's get started with it. So studying abroad is a dream for many. So in fact, it has been for mine as well. But when it comes with a hefty price tag, we all back off. So uh, I myself couldn't afford my higher studies pursuing with the thought in the US. So I dropped up my plans. So the monthly expenses normally comes between one to three lakhs. So securing a loan becomes very difficult for everyone. So middle class families, they will not be able to afford it. So in this video, we'll see the uh, best practices you could uh, use in getting an uh, educational loan for your international studies and the eligibility criteria that is required for your repayment options because uh, repayment is very essential. So you need to plan on that factor as well. Eligibility and requirements. So to strengthen your loan application, a strong academic record is like very essential. That is the very vital thing to be first thing to be like taken into consideration. And you need a confirmed admission letter from your uh, university. So these both are essential for you to even start your application. And uh, Avoid always giving false information. So if you try to fake your data, then your loan will definitely get rejected. So most banks offer a dedicated scheme. They have a scheme on education loans, on overseas education loan. The interest rate is somewhere between 8.5 to 14% as of uh, this financial year. So what all is covered in this loan? So the education loans typically cover your school fees, which is your tuition fees, and your accommodation in the uh, hostels, your uh, travel, your insurance, your books, as well as anything related to your course. Say for example, your course demands you to buy a laptop or you wanted to buy some laboratory apparatuses and things like that. This is all like covered under your education loans. However, they will not sponsor you to apply for visa or applying for entrance exams because uh, if you have to travel abroad, then your ILTS and uh, GRE exams are mandatory. So these both will not be covered. Also your personal expenses that you need to meet out. And uh, the next thing what the uh, lenders evaluate, what are the main factors which they evaluate is, they will be evaluating your academic score, what is your performance and how strong is your financial background and your reputation with the university, like which college you are applying for and how good of a university is this. The better the university is, the chance of you getting the loan or securing the loan is going to be like really easy. And uh, choosing this loan, there are various options. There are banks which do not offer you when there is not a collateral towards it. So in that case, NBFCs come into play. So while banks give you a competitive interest rate, uh, it is uh, also advisable to apply through multiple lenders. Uh, you can also go with NBFCs. So the NBFCs have got uh, better uh, terms and conditions and uh, pay attention to the hidden rates and charges, what they're going to do. And also do uh, um, take a note on your prepayment penalties as well, because some of them, they do not allow you to make part payments or prepayments unless your education is complete and uh, you are like, earning and you are on your own. So try it into consideration of those factors as well. And if you are not able to get from uh, vendors here, you can also try for international lenders. Uh, if you don't have any credits from your local vendors, you can also try for international lenders. So there are companies like Prodigy Finance and Empower who would try to give you international education loans. So however, be cautious on the foreign exchange regulations because that's the fluctuation which is happening because of the dollar rate conversions happening and the Indian rupee is like weakening in the market. The very important thing they consider is your collaterals. So most banks require a collateral such as your residential property or your fixed deposit or your life insurance policies. So your life insurance policies, if you hold any or your residential properties, they come as very handy. Fixed deposit also are considered into a factor. And uh, some top tier colleges or universities may offer you zero collateral loans which has been like sponsored by your university itself. And some NBFCs also provide you if you have a very good academic, uh, then you don't, they don't require a collateral from you if it's a good university and if you seem to be from one of the NITs or from the IITs, they definitely give you this. So repayment terms generally start with the course 
after the course is over and after a 12, 6 to 12 month of moratorium. So they give a moratorium period of 6 to 12 months. Until that period, you will be able to avoid your interest. And after that, you have to definitely start paying up your uh, loans. Banks like uh, Bank of Baroda or Union Bank, they give you a maximum repayment tenure up to 15 years. So these both banks ought to be considered. While NBFCs, they will like just give you like one or two years of credit period after your education is over. Then... Uh, you need to take it into consideration of that and you start looking out for a job and start earning so that to pay up these loans. So here are the main tips for your uh, strong loan application. Maintain a good academic record. That's the very vital thing. That's the very first and foremost thing to be taken into consideration. And uh, present a clear admission letter and your goal on that letter. Write your career goals. What are your plans? What do you intend to become in the future? And include a financial co-applicant. It could be your father or someone who's got a stable income and present collateral with clear titles. If you're giving your residential property, give the property without any uh, issues on that. Give clear titles. Avoid fake information. Do not uh, give uh, credit scores fakes because that will be easily caught once they do a civil search. So do not give any fake information. And uh, if you provide up all of these informations, then it's going to be like easily getting approved from your uh, loan provider and they'll be able to give you a loan very easily with that. So securing this uh, foreign education loan for international studies, it requires a careful planning and research. So by choosing the right lender and a proper strong application and understanding the repayment option can definitely bring your dreams come true. Your international education, also the future lifestyle that you're planning for will be easily be taken care of. So plan your financial educations accordingly and do your uh, due diligence when you're applying for these kind of uh, foreign educational uh, courses or for your foreign education studies. So if you have liked this video, do share this video with your friends so that uh, some more friends who are looking out for an international study can get some more ideas through this video and do hit that uh, like button as well for this video to get transferred to many. I'll catch you up in the next one. Until then, stay tuned. Thank you.